Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you the 20 different things, documents, and the step-by-step -step process of how I went about getting my Brazilian residency, and if you're thinking about getting your residency here as well, uh, this is this is actually made by my wife. She has a better recollection. She took notes of every single thing that we had to do. She had to do a lot of the things uh, that I wasn't able to in terms of stuff here in Brazil while I was still in the US and then after we got married. So uh, I will get started. The first thing you're gonna need to do is get a criminal record from the FBI and you have to have an apostle. You're gonna have to get your birth certificate apostled as well so you can just kill two birds and send those both in together to the apostle company like I mentioned in the last video. I'll leave a link below for the company that I did it with. They were great. Uh, it took a little longer than I was expecting, but it was still within the timeline that they gave me. It wasn't, there's was no delays. Uh, the passport stamp with the, with the date, I mentioned in the last one how hard that was to get. It should just say 90, That's unless it's something changes between Brazil and the US relations uh, and they cut us off or something, but it, 90 needs to be written there. Make sure you have it because they will give you hell if you don't. Uh, apply for your marriage. Uh, that takes, there's a one month process from the time you apply, at least one month from the time you apply to the time you actually are able to get married. I also mentioned that. Uh, translate all of your document documents, original and apostle, with a sworn translator. It has to be with a sworn translator. And it has to be both your original and your apostle's documents. I have no idea why, but that's just the way it is. Uh, RNE, the Registro Nacional Estrangeiro. I think I actually said that right. Uh, my wife put here, I strongly recommend hiring a, cons a consultant. And if she says that, then definitely, because I didn't deal with that. I barely even know what that is. Number six, your CPF. Uh, like I said, this was uh, should be very easy to get. It wasn't quite so easy for me, but pretty much anybody can get one as long as you're in Brazil. Uh, so I mentioned that in the last video, what I went through to get it. Um, as long as you have the 90 on your stamp and then you're showing proof of where you live. Really the proof of residency is the biggest. You just have to have that combined with the stamp. Number seven, the Brazilian criminal record from all state that you've lived since your arrival. And you can get this online. Uh, that's where my wife got it apparently. I'm just learning this now. So, But it has to be of all the places you've lived. I don't know what constitutes living, uh, so figure that out on your own. Um, number eight, you might need a few extra certificates depending on where in Brazil you are applying from. So I was applying from, for residency, I lived in Sacuarema, but for marriage, I was in Manaus. So two different states, way, every, very, very different places. I mean, it's, I was in the middle of the Amazon, well, in a big city in the middle of the Amazon, and now I live on the Brazilian coast where I got my residency. So uh, proof of residency under the name of the applicant. So I had to have the internet bill in my name. Uh, it could not have been in my wife's name. That was a big deal. I had, like, I had to tell them it, they, that it needed to be in my name. So make sure you have that. Number 10, ID of your Brazilian husband or wife. I had to have my wife's ID. Obviously, she is Brazilian. Uh, number 11, the receipt of your fees you have to pay to schedule your appointment. So just make sure you keep track of everything. <laughs> Don't throw any of those receipts away. Uh, number 12, printed scheduled appointment proof. <laughs> number 13, printed certificates from the federal police. The consultant took care of these for us. Number 14, printed forms from the federal police. Also, consultant took care of. Statement of residency, printed statement of non-previous records, joint statement, a declaration, in conjunto and all of these were taken care of by the consultant and they all have to be printed they're not very big on the, the digital thing here so you're gonna be taking a lot of, we took roughly 70 it's like yeah 67 or I think I remember it being 67 pieces of paper that's what we were told to bring and uh, statement of your husband or wife's address that's number 18. Number 19, two photos. This is important. I did this the day that we were in Niteroy. Two photos, three by four, white background, no date, recent, and glasses off. 
So you have to have those two things. So we just did it the day of, it was fine. There's tons of, and as long as you're in a city, there's tons of places that do them. I mean, you can find, it's like a CVS, you know, you just go in there, you get your picture taken. Uh, I mean, you need two, you have to have two of them. And then the last one, number 20, copy of all documents, original and apostle, from one through 10. So that wraps it up. There's all 20 things that you'll need. I'll leave, I'll leave a link below for the websites and the company, the consulting company that we use so that you guys have a, I want you to be able to do this easier than I did. I, I can't complain because of the time that it took it was not that bad. There are just certain things that, you know, we just had to learn along the way. And so that's why I feel like YouTube is good for things like this. And you know, if you have friends or family that are, maybe you're not trying to live in Brazil, but a friend or a family member is, you can share this with them. I'd be happy to, you know, people will leave comments and ask me questions. I, I love, you know, people have helped me along the way. I lived in Mexico for two years and I always had questions. So anyway, um, yeah, feel free to share and follow. <laughs>